take a look uh, a bit to the REST API. Actually, we were speaking already about REST uh, Conf earlier. Uh, today, we will just uh, do a bit of recap. So the REST API has a certain, uh, so first of all, it uses uh, HTTP or HTTPS. You remember we were speaking about REST Conf and it was on HTTPS due to REST Conf uh, like requirements. REST Conf, you could think about a more um, strict version of REST API because the body from them are the same. So both uh, REST Conf and REST API in general is built on the fact that body of your um, message is a uh, JSON format formatted. So meaning that you just provide the data which you are going to send it like Again, it's dependent on the request. So either you send data in the JSON format if you're using some sort of request or you are just using empty body with some requests and getting the body in the JSON format as a response. So we start with this definition HTTP session. Part of this is HTTP session is a three-way handshake. It's a process of uh, scene synac. Um, when we were speaking about Ansible, another Ansible, we were speaking about the NetConf hand previously, we uh, were talking that NetConf starts with a hello exchange. We don't have any kind of hello here. We just have three-way handshake. Once it's done, the client is sending a request to the server and then is getting from the server reply. So it's HTTP messages. And you will see right now there, uh, the type for this request and we will um, use the one of the tool just uh, visualize them as well for you. But uh, from, from what, from, from this point, when you start saying, okay, why it's important for me? Because it's how you will, your application, if you think about the client, is your Python script or your Ansible playbook, and you then specific models, you could grab information from there, uh, from your UI, and then collect this information, and then this is data that you could either directly parse and use a Python, Python dictionary in Python, or in Ansible also, you could uh, just store in some variable and use it uh, for further work in your application. Um, REST, as you see, it's a nice chilling guy. So, uh, I mean, on this log, I like this actually image a lot because it's exactly explaining how you work with it. It's pretty easy to work with it. So once you understand the concept, uh, it's why it's called like RESTful API. So you just rest when you're working. It's working within the crude framework. Again, we was uh, mentioning this frame framework earlier. So this framework is, uh, uh, I mean, the CURUD is an abbreviation of the uh, of four main actions that in, within this framework should be done. Create, so C is an um, action where you add something to your database. So you create any kind of entry. So like you create a new device in inbox, we are basically working with this uh, true or C uh, part. So in the REST API, it's uh, re uh, realized using the request called POST. So you remember we were uh, talking about the play application called POSTMAN and we will use actually application today again. So the POSTMAN uh, is like POST request, which is used to, to add the data to the database. Another request is uh, GET, which stands for R, which is read, read. So it's, um, Action where we collect the information from the database, we analyze it, we uh, push this information. Uh, so we analyze this information, we grab this uh, JSON structure and data, and use it as variables in our text, in our uh, automation playbooks, and so on. Then we have update, uh, patch, put uh, API requests related to it. So update is when we have anything in the database which we would like to change or modify. There are two types of requests, but there are two types of how you could do this. And actually it's important because something is visible in the box, not visible in, a, or not like 100% implemented in the net box. Uh, so patch is a, is a request where you would like to modify something as a part of your entry. Say you have an interface. Let's put it in this way. And the, and the entry you know, the interface will uh, contain so IP address, oh, first of all type, if it is routed or switched interface. If it is routed, you must have so IP address, or if it's a switched, you will have a VLANs and so on and so forth. So patch basically mean that it modify only the strings or only the keys uh, of your entry without modifying any other. So it's like really patching 
you're adding something or you're changing something. Uh, put is completely replace your full entry with a new input. So it's like uh, we was actually using some sort of put request or netconf realized that put request and was dealing with an always a uh, I restore open config because I was uh, mentioning that this is how the Arista configures the interface. If you don't uh, put the netconf operation uh, replace, which is equal to REST API put, uh, we cannot uh, configure API address interface because it's already switched. And the last uh, but not least is delete. So when we don't need something from the, uh, in the uh, database anymore, we just delete. So all these uh, things with all the realization of each and every request, post, get, patch, put, delete, you could find uh, on the my blog. So, and there is associated GitHub with it. So you will see how to work with again with the netconf and some other things, not only netconf, with uh, all these requests. And you will have also in their GitHub repo that you can find there examples how to implement them using uh, Ansible, using Python, using Bash. So it, you will have the even more that I will show you today. But this is again support for you. The same like previous link for the working with networks. Here, the support for you to work with REST API. Thanks.